What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And right now what we're gonna be talking about is how you can reach cut level 20 in three hours. There's no glitch. I did not take advantage of anything that was going on with the solo battles. In fact, I actually streamed everything, um, you know, when we actually started the early release. So you guys were able to see that, but this is for no glitch involved. I know usually we got the glitches, bro, but we did not take advantage of the glitch to get your level up. So many of you guys are already above that level. So we're not really worried about that right now. We're going to talk about how to legitimately get there. And also right now, EA Sports is offering a very, very good incentive. You're going to start at Mutt level 10 in Madden 25 if you reach cut level 20. Listen to that again. If you reach cut level 20, which is going to take you about three hours, bro, on average, you're going to start at mutt level 10 in Madden 25. All right. So if you've decided that you're, gonna, you're not going to play college football, this may make you kind of reconsider like, yo, bro, starting off at level 10 in Madden 25 is going to be game changing. Obviously, we do have a lot of other ways to like level up fast, but typically you got to go through the first season before you can do anything else. So this video is going to primarily show you guys, even if you're new to College Ultimate Team, how you can get to that level 20, you know, super fast, bro. Like three hours is not that much time. Like even if you have a schedule, like, yo, I got to go to school, I got to go to work. I'm going to walk you guys right through it so you guys see exactly what needs to be done. Don't worry about those coin methods that we're doing. We'll just experiment right now. If you guys want to know more about those coin methods, type one in the comment section. The In case you missed it, um, this particular promo, the reason that I'm showing you guys that, uh, a lot of the welcome packs that you get in this game, they don't give you cards, they just give you tips. So I'm just showing you guys that programs are very, very specific to how you actually level up. So when you go over to season one in your tab, very similar to Madden, if you haven't played Madden, this is gonna be a refresher for you to kind of understand. The field pass is what the game has been about for the last three years. So you're gonna have to get familiar with it. There's a lot of goodies in it. So make sure you try to kind of, you know, pick up on what's going on. So number one, right now at level 20, you get an MVP pack, which I'm going to open at the end of this video. But I just want to show you guys some of the things like, you know, the mutt levels as you go up. That MVP season pack is going to be crucial for a lot of you guys that are starting out on uh, no money spent because you are getting suitable cards uh, to start the game. Now, number one, the daily objective is going to be very, very important. Very similar to Madden. Again, you're going to have to find a pack that's really cheap, especially if you're no money spent. I'm going to go ahead and recommend the recruit pack, 1500 coins, you know, making the coins, you can make coins in a lot of different ways, but right now the, the easiest way is getting those like packs that give you like a player coach, a stadium and stuff like that. We've gone over that in the pre, you know, the previous video, you can sell all your, um, your uniforms. People are going crazy about uniforms right now. Just to give you guys some insight into it, selling uniforms for like 10K, 15K, it's ridiculous, bro. And you can get the packs for about 3,500 coins in the actual store. Now, season one, as you're looking at it right there, there wasn't that much in there. This right here, in case you missed it, you can see we completed that right away. There are various ways to get the cards. Number one will be to play the challenges, get your coins up, and get the cheapest version of every card. This is the conference stories play. Players. Again, the cheapest version of every card. If you play through the challenges, the cards, the minimum level of the cards that are available in the auction house, extremely cheap. I'm talking a thousand coins, bro. So you get a decent amount of coins from playing the challenges and going through the field pass itself. So there is no excuse about not being able to afford the minimum overall, the 71, 73 versions of the cards and just throw them in your lineup. Okay, I think I got like from the uh, field pass a free 81 or something like that also. So there's a lot of different ways to get those cards to get into your lineup, but ultimately you can get them for very, very cheap because the overall doesn't matter for the card. You just need to have two of them and then you complete those things. As you go through it, like I said, we just jumped up to level 22 in this video. Uh, a lot of things are going on with like the strategy cards, but as of right now, we're not using any. I will be updating you guys on like the glitchiest ones to use and things like that. But I think the focus is getting the cut level 20 in three hours. Okay, that is ultimately what everyone is trying to do. So that's all I'm concerned about right now. So when you go through that field pass and you see those things, like in case you missed it, and then you see the conference stories, that is the really, really glitchy way to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Get two of those players minimum. And now I'm showing you guys the BND uh, MVP pack, but I just want to emphasize, get the cheapest players in the auction house. 
four of those two promos and you'll already be at like level 15 when you do those things. And you can play like the solo seasons. Uh, the solo battles at the time of this video is currently down, but solo seasons is the very, very easy way to do it. It is not going to register if you play challenges. You have to play solo seasons, head to head, or solo battles in order to get those promo XP points, all right? And you can play it on freshman level and all that other good stuff and just get that stuff done. But that's how I reach these levels really, really quickly. And everything can be offline. Online is really nasty right now because of a lot of the glitches that went on and people have 90 overall teams already. So you're gonna have a lot of problems if you just try to do all of this online. I'm still gonna be playing online if you follow me on Twitch, uh, YouTube, you know, when we live stream and stuff like that. But I would recommend if you don't wanna get into sweaties, just be very, very careful. Now, at the end of this, when you reach the level 20, you're gonna get this. So if you've watched this video in full, type Madden 25 because you're going to be at level 10 when we start so everybody's gonna be asking yo bro how do you start at level 10 remember you're automatically gonna start there so everything else that you do you're gonna already have a head start and we don't know what the card's gonna be at the end of the season but guys know listen when you get to that level everybody goes crazy to exceed the levels faster than everyone else this is a great um you know a great development that we just actually went into as i was making the video like it just happened like oh my goodness yo yo i'm making this video and they showed this i'm like oh okay so now it made sense to get the MVP bundle that I told you guys about like you know two months ago uh, if not you don't have to get the game if you don't already have it I'm not telling you guys to spend more money I'm never gonna tell you guys to spend more money I'm just letting you guys know it's very easy three hours no glitch level up get to 20 and if you don't want to play the game anymore don't play it but then you'll be prepared for Madden 25 ultimate team and that's where we're gonna really be grinding although we're really enjoying uh, this college football team right now you know ultimate team right now so make sure you get that you keep the collectible and uh, you'll be all set in that regard now as far as the team goes when you reach level 20 uh, in cut people are asking like what should your average team overall be I'm saying about 81 all right, about 81 it should be. Let me know what your uh, cut level, uh, you know, your cut overalls are. Um, pretty much, I don't know why they let you flip the cards like that because you'll need a microscope to see the actual attributes, but whatever. This is where my team is right now. You guys can take a look at it. Very, very, you know, decent right now for like three days of early release. But ultimately, we've been grinding the game. Uh, we've been taking a look at certain things and how to level up and putting the right players in the right spots, learning playbooks and things like that. So ultimately... You guys right now should be able to get to level 20 in three hours. Let me know if you're gonna to continue to play it. We will be starting the Dynasty next week um, for all of my subs and my members and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, the subs are from Twitch and the members are on YouTube, and uh, we'll talk about that very soon, but good luck to everyone. Get to Mutt, yo, bro, cut level 20, bro, cut to reach Mutt. So it's cut, then Mutt, reach that level. Let me know where you guys are with it. And if you need any of the tips and tricks into Ultimate Team, let me know. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy your day. One love, y'all.